food is a great way of connecting with our young ones. So this is you here? So we help them with food. We teach them. There's another fish coming up. We move with their fingers. I think there's some fish down there. We help them fillet things in life. Put their line in for their fishing, for their nets. We help them dissect different parts of an animal to understand this is how we work. Those green things, fish? <laughs> so when we take those, those pieces and we connect them to home, they walk, they breathe it after. Yeah, we're gonna come take this and then I'll show you this. And you remember, oh, this is, I, I done this with my granny before. Very nice. I done this with my Michelle miss. <laughs> We were taken away from the way we once lived. So we're retracing those tracks. We're reconciling again uh, in, in the Anishinaabe way. And we're doing that with the help of other nations that are strong with theirs. If you're doing a foods class in high school, you're going to learn how to like chop things in a bunch of different ways. You're going to get your safe food handling. Um, but we want to like take that a step further, like how to pluck it and singe and cut a goose, how to fillet a fish, how to catch a fish, how to bait a hook, things like that. I'll see if I can find this. So Forest Meats Farm is a, a, an alternative food literacy program um, where we're trying to engage youth with um, their environment. So here it means the boreal forest because we have a super diverse environment here that's like flourishing with life and, and with food. Yeah. We're trying to reach youth that don't engage with the typical academic setting. Like they are not showing up to school to sit in a desk and have a piece of paper in front of them, they're not gonna do it. So at this station, there's also ingredients after We're trying to create spaces where they feel welcome, they feel engaged, and that they can they can learn and grow. I don't know, I came and I guess I started liking like cooking and stuff. So I just started coming more and more. I feel like it's a really vital like like a vital skill to have so I can like teach the younger generations how to do it. Like that? Against the bone, yeah, it's always against the, the bone. Yeah. Oh so scary cutting meat. <laughs> I think that Food is a perfect medium to connect people. And it also provides a venue to celebrate different cultures wow. and different stories. <laughs> I see more eye contact, more more talking, more sharing with their with their friends. Being excited about something they learned and then turning and being like, hey, look at this, like, hey, look what I did. You see them kind of like light up and, and really become themselves, really like settle into who they are, which is, Beautiful. Yeah, I like the food that we eat. I like the Seeing the students laugh, catching their fish, you can see the pride in their eyes, you know? This is my fish. The happiness. <laughs> Waiting for so long, you know? You're fishy, fishy. <laughs> their ancestors have done it, and here they are, you know, finally fishing out of a, a big lake. And that's what we're trying to create for them, is that, that family atmosphere of reconnecting again and bobbing, setting our lines down and like, eventually something will catch. Nice. Ooh. It may seem like fishing to a lot of people, but it's not. Woo!